And welcome back live, ladies and gentlemen. Here to the Hardcore Wrestling Federation, live from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. I know that about it here. Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is a hardcore match scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Oakland, California. Shotzi! Well, Shotzi, the former HWF Women's Hardcore Champion, looking to get back in the title hunt in this qualifying match with Mideast. There's no doubt about it in my mind here. We're being told from the floor that we have two more qualifying matches to go for our Superstar Division because our main event will be Rob Van Dam versus Eric Bischoff because we're being told that the six spots are filled with surprises. Oh, surprises? Who knows what could happen? I guess we'll find out soon enough. They are surprise entries, but whoever they are, I just hope that things could get amazing. And the howls go off at the hands of that young lady, Shotzi. And we want to thank our U.S. Army forces for all the support. Even to the Canadian fans. And no doubt about it, this has truly become a big time war tonight. No doubt about it, Shotzi already fired up and ready to go. And here comes the debut of this young, of this lady, Maris. Well, the wife of the Miz and her opponent from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Maris. Oh, well, the only thing I can say is uh, Maris has home field advantage. Well, she may have home field advantage, but as far as right now is considered, you better believe that Maurice can fight. Yeah, no doubt about it here. Maurice, on the other hand, has been through so much. Yeah, but the, Maurice looking like someone from, from all the way from Hollywood. But however, she is the wife of the Miz, and no doubt about it, we'll do whatever it takes to get a shot in this summer July opportunity. No doubt about it for our Divas division. Here we go, Riffy calls the bell. Marisa with the right hand, there's an arm wrench, but Shotzi with a counter. And slamming her head like a rag doll. Kick to the gut by, by Shotzi to Maris. And now Maris countering that knee lift and Shotzi playing mind games with well, the former ACW Women's World Champion, Maurice. She lost her title, and no doubt about it, truly a, an, amazing, an amazing athlete in her own right. Maurice trying to go for the first shot, and it looks like she missed. And a big forearm right to the face by Shotzi to Maurice. And the match is still going on with a lot of heart and soul on the line for this triumphant opportunity of a lifetime. You know that about it, Shotzi, the former HWF Women's Hardcore Champion. Would love to be back in the title hunt and will do whatever it takes to become champion once again. Well, she'll love more than anything to take out Crystal and get a shot at her championship. And no doubt about it, drop kick to the face. And yet, though, speaking of which... Maurice slamming Shotzi on the back of her head. My God, that had to be right on that table. Not that bad. And none of these ladies didn't even go through the table. Thank goodness for that. Knee lift by Shotzi catching Maurice. Totally off guard there. And these gorgeous ladies, just my God, they'll do whatever it takes. I know, this is right before our huge main event. Eric Bischoff versus Rob Van Dam in a hardcore match where the winner will receive the other spot in the six-man hardcore elimination match for the opportunity of a lifetime at the HWF Summer July Six Divas Money in the Bank briefcase. No doubt about it. Fans want tables. Already beginning in Toronto. And Shotzi with a shot right to the face. And oh man, what more could happen?
Shotzi launched over the top rope by Maris. And oh my god, this has truly become an amazing matchup here. Maris with that face buster and out. Maris with a cover. Is that it? No. Kick out at one. And a flying highlight luchador like DDT maneuvered. And a big boot by Maurice. Man, folks, this is just truly becoming a war zone. An amazing one in that, in this hardcore rules type of environment for these qualifying matches. No doubt about it. Because we're being told that next week we're going to have ourselves an 8 Divas tag team eliminate. Uh, an 8 Divas tag team. An 8 Divas. Battle Royal, no less, which will determine our final ease. But however, for this Battle Royal, last we checked, if any draft, if any, if any final qualifiers want to qualify, we're being told that if either one of them, our last one's eliminated, however, do not get to qualify. We're only doing this by. Holy shoot! We're doing this by. By a few qualifiers, no doubt about it. The winner of that match will either meet Shotzi or Maurice or Panther. No doubt about it, will meet Panther. Whoever wins this match will also meet Panther, knowing Sabu. And, and more importantly, after earlier tonight, Boruto are going to meet Joker. And it just comes down to the last two qualifiers for the HWF side in our Superstars division. No doubt about it. And Maurice. Oh no, French kiss. The French kiss on Shotzi. Hooks the leg. Is that it? And Maurice qualifies. Dang it. Maurice won in her home state. That's all that should matter. Here's your winner, Maurice. Well, Maurice won in her home state. And it looks like she qualifies with Panther. And it comes down to this. Our final qualifying match for, for this night until next week's final qualifying matches because it's Rob Van Dam versus Eric Bischoff. Who's going to meet Boruto Uzumaki, Sabu, and of course, Joker. We're going to find out. Come to you live and next. We got the spin, spin, spin. Sun in my hands. Ignite the fire. We got the win, win, win. Sparking it up, down to the wire. We got the spin, spin, spin. Here in our hands, we burn it brighter. We got the win, win, win. We let it, so we let it, we let it. Rip, 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 rip. We let it. Rip, 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 pay play. Rip, 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 pay play. Rip, pay play, rip, pay play. Burst, we let it. Rip, 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 pay play. Burst, surge. I'm a legend, day one. Revolution, bring on. What you got? Prove yourself in the ring. Knockout. I'm next level. Pick it up. Fight your battle. Boss up. Where's that spark? Where's that fire? It ain't there. We got the spin, spin, spin. Sun in my hands. Ignite the fire. We got the win, win, win. Sparking it up. Down to the wire. We got the spin, spin, spin. Here in our hands. We burn it brighter. We got the win, win, win. We let it. So we let it. What? Rip, 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 rip. We let it. Rip. Pay play, rip, 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 pay play, rip, pay play, rip, pay play, burst, we let it rip, 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 pay play, burst, search, we let it rip. And we are back live, and uh oh. Here comes Eric Bischoff. He gotta be so smug and happy for what Hollywood Hogan did to Cena last month in July. Not that bad, Eric Bischoff was very happy enough to hear Hogan win. But right now, it comes down to this. Our main event. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is a hardcore match. Excuse me for one fall. Making his way to the ring. Representing the NWO from Detroit, Michigan. Weighing in at 195 pounds, Eric Bischoff. 
Well, Eric Bischoff, a cruiserweight, and he's self-proclaiming that he has a third-degree black belt, but that's going to be proven right here and now with a real third-degree black belt and a real martial artist extraordinaire, Rob Van Dam. Now, how about it? RVD versus that man, Eric Bischoff. Well, how about it? Rob Van Dam representing the ECW Originals, no less, and Eric Bischoff representing the Originals of the NWO also known as the New World Order. Now that about it, Hollywood Hogan, along with X-Pac and Kevin Nash, have got to be loving this backstage, watching this, and uh-oh. Here comes Rob Van Dam. And his opponent from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 235 pounds, Rob Van Damn! Well, RVD making his way to the ring in this final qualifying match. And no doubt about it, Rob Van Dam truly going to make you believe that he is one of a kind. No doubt about it, Rob Van Dam was happy to hear Sabu qualify. If he could win here tonight, then he could be his best friend and maybe settle some old scores once and for all since their early days and the real ECW days. No doubt about it. But what I am amazed about Rob Van Dam is, is his ability and what he's been through in his life. And no doubt about it, Rob Van Dam is an amazing athlete and he's been through so much in his career, even a Hall of Famer, no less. No doubt about it. Well, right now, though, Eric Bischoff and Rob Van Dam looking at each other. Rob Van Dam was checking the ropes for something. I don't know. Whatever that was. Here we go. Van Dam with those martial arts shots and a German suplex taking Eric Bischoff right off his feet. Yeah, well, Bischoff didn't see it coming. Yeah, well, Van Dam right now has got something on his mind. And this is truly payback for Rob Van Dam for after everything he's been through in his life. No doubt about it. Van Dam has got Eric Bischoff. Right where he wants him here and launching him over the top rope. Do you know how long Rob Van Dam has waited long for? Has been waiting a, a long time. Everyone knows how long Rob Van Dam has waited, has waited for this. And he's waited a long time for this. Without anybody helping Eric Bischoff, this is truly time for Eric Bischoff to pay the price for what he did to ECW years ago. What about it? Trying to buy out every ECW talent, including Mike Awesome. And what about it? Turning him into that 70s guy and a total lack of disrespect that Eric Bischoff has done. And what about it? Look at this. Trying to go for the martial arts shot. Uh-oh. Van Dam just came to and realized what Eric Bischoff was going to do there. And a snake eyes off the apron. And it looks like Van Dam rolled the dice. And he's showing Eric Bischoff how it's done here. Not that bad. This is hardcore rules. Anything goes. A much short shot by Van Dam. And uh oh. Paying homage to Chris Jericho. With a double legged Boston grab. A reverse version of the Wolves of Jericho. And that was paying homage to Chris Jericho right there. Bischoff escaped it into a roll-up. Cover is that it? No. Gets a one count. Nicely done by Rob Van Dam. Paying homage to a legend in professional wrestling. No doubt about it. Uh-oh. Eric Bischoff took the chair right out of the corner. And Bischoff from behind with that chair. Uh-oh. Van Dam realized it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bad move for Bischoff, and again lost over the top rope. Clothesline, Eric Bischoff ducked. And a big right hand, and another right hand. Man, Rob Van Dam is rucked. And landed spine first off the barricade as he got launched by Eric Bischoff. Man, Eric Bischoff is desperate, doing whatever it takes to win. Running axe handle. Uh-oh. Van Dam nipped up. Bringing Eric Bischoff back to the ring. And now Van Dam must be playing for something here. Uh-oh. Van Dam wedging that ladder 
onto our announcer's table, and more importantly, right on the HWF ring, right on that HWF logo. It must be a sign for something that Ram Rob Van Dam might do something to Bischoff with that ladder, but we have no idea what it is, and Van Dam is telling Bischoff, come on. Eric Bischoff just rolled right over, did a martial art roll, it looked like it looked like a barrel roll, taking that chair right out of Rob Van Dam's hands. And there's a Russian leg sweep. Cover, is that it? Two, no. Oh man, Rob Van Dam's now got the chair. An eye for an eye. And no doubt about it, Rob Van Dam hitting Eric Bischoff with that chair, and Eric Bischoff with an enziguri popping Van Dam right in the jaw. And that, and that ladder still wedged right on, right on my announcer's table, and more importantly, right on that ring. No doubt about it. And sending Eric Bischoff gut first off the HWF announcer's table. Oh, I'm getting out of here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute now. Eric Bischoff with those elbows right to the heart of Rob Van Dam and a spinning martial arts shot catching Van Dam in the face. Referee making the count, is that it? No, Van Dam kicked out at two and a half and Eric Bischoff can't believe it. And then Bischoff showing signs of frustrations. He better get over it and think of something else to win here. No doubt about it. Rob Van Dam, uh-oh. Van Dam again nipped up and Eric Bischoff was unaware. He got caught by surprise like a, like a ghost came from out of nowhere. Yeah, a martial arts ghost and hitting Eric Bischoff with that chair. And Van Dam showing Eric Bischoff how it's done with that martial arts shot right to the gut. What about it? What is Van Dam thinking here? Putting Eric Bischoff on, on that ladder. Trying to punish him, but Eric Bischoff pushed him out of the way. Eric Bischoff is going right for the legs, looking for something. And what was that? I don't know. He kicked him like a soccer ball, right in his butt. And another more short shot by Eric Bischoff. Oh man, not like this. Not like, what? What the? Rob Van Dam kicked out at two and a half and Eric Bischoff can't believe it. Man, Eric Bischoff is pissed. He can't believe what just happened there. And the fight forever chance. Eric Bischoff realizing he may not need the chair, but he's got something else on his mind for Rob Van Dam. Yeah, well, Rob Van Dam's got some intentions of what to do with Eric Bischoff. He's got that chair again. Hitting Eric Bischoff right in the back. Telling Eric Bischoff to get up. And Eric Bischoff knocking the chair right out of Rob Van Dam's hands. Arm wrench more slurts shot right to the gut of Rob Van Dam. And Eric Bischoff is out of desperation here at this point. He's desperate. And sending Rob Van Dam gut first off the announcer's table again. And that ladder still wedged within our announcer's table and the ring itself. Yeah, no doubt about it. Clothesline and down goes Eric Bischoff. And it looks like things have really intensified here. Basement drop kick, but Eric Bischoff rolled out of the way, and Rob Van Dam may have hurt himself, and Van Dam saw that one coming as well. And a German suplex, Eric Bischoff got launched on the back of his head first, right off that ladder. My God, that had to be dangerous. Well, HWF living up to its name, hardcore. Pure hardcore action. Not how about it, uh-oh. Eric Bischoff back to his feet. And Van Dam on the top rope. And Eric Bischoff slamming Van Dam right off the top rope here. Uh-oh. Drop kick by Rob Van Dam. And down goes Eric Bischoff. Wait, what's Van Dam thinking? Oh, wait a minute. Van Dam's got something on his mind. Bringing Eric Bischoff right to the corner here. He was going to stomp the heck out of him right there. But Eric Bischoff preventing it. Knocking Rob Van Dam right off his feet. Trying to go for something. 
But Van Dam going up top. We know what he's gonna do here. Here it comes. Five star frog splash. Hook of the leg. Is that it? And Rob Van Dam got a little sweet revenge and it's qualifying. What a match. Here is your winner, Rob Van Dam. RVD victorious in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And these fans are loving it tonight. What a bunch of final qualifies. And we're not even through until next week. Folks, thank you for joining us. I've been your commentator, MJ, and we'll see you all next time. Good fight, good night, and thanks for joining us in my gobble tonight. What a night here in Toronto, Ontario, Canada for the Hardcore Wrestling Federation.